Hello and welcome to this review of the Highlander Ever After Historical Romance book series by Caroline Lee. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot, and you're watching Random Olive Reads. So the series is a bunch of fairy tale retellings, and the first one is The Last Who Lost a Shoe, and this one is the Cinderella retelling. Ember has been working at her stepmother's inn and has a chance to show off her specially engraved shoe designs at a masquerade ball. She hopes to impress the man who has come from America to oversee the family engraving business that her family has run for generations. At the ball, she has a chance to dance with a handsome gentleman before having to run back home so her stepmother doesn't find her missing. She loses a shoe and the gentleman picks it up. Meanwhile, Max is the newcomer and guest of honor, but he has been staying at the inn instead of at the castle and doesn't realize that the lady at the ball and the serving girl that he's enthralled with are the same person. There's a smidge of miscommunication as they work out who the other person is, but there is definitely an instant spark between Ember and Max, which is delightful to read. The second book is The Lass Who Kissed a Frog, which is a frog prince retelling. Vanessa, the oldest daughter of a baroness, has been lauded for her beauty and was expected to make a match with the charming and handsome Lord Roland. But he overhears her making disparaging remarks about his brother, and now he believes her to be shallow and cruel. He decides to teach her a lesson by disguising himself as sort of this scruffy vagabond and trying to rile her up, but then he's surprised when she treats him with kindness. Meanwhile, Vanessa is realizing that she lost her chance with Roland because of her harsh words, and she's refocusing her efforts on helping her sister achieve her goals. When Vanessa needs to travel out of town for a few days, somehow the disguised Roland escorts her and learns even more about her true and actually kind nature. And he feels guilty for deceiving her because he's finding out that he, she's not as shallow as he thought she was. It's a whole big mess. The third book in the series is The Last Who Loved a Beast, and this one is the Beauty and the Beast retelling. Bonnie is doing some research for her book on Highland history and visits the Grumpy Beast Lion's castle to do so. They get stuck there together in a snowstorm for a few days and grow closer, but Lion pushes her away. He's got his own guilt and feelings of unworthiness after his first wife died in a fire, and this was the same fire that caused him to be heavily scarred. Now, Bonnie's sad about Lion's rejection, but she's working on her own goals about setting up a publishing house for books written by women and hopes that her own book will be the start of future successes. At some point, Lion's brothers push him out of his castle to go over to Bonnie and visit her where he shares his concerns and his reasons why he's hesitant in starting a relationship with her. And then we get some really big, dramatic, harrowing experience that forces these people to confront their feelings for each other. Overall, this, this series was quick and fun to read. Each book was less than like 200 pages long, so about half of the length of a traditionally published historical romance novel. I do recommend reading these in order since the events directly tie from one book to the next. And it was fun seeing how these three sisters interact with each other over the course of the series. All of the stories involve a group of meddling godmothers, which may or may not have witch-like tendencies. Um, and it starts with the prologue for each book, as well as a little snippet every chapter. I kind of skipped over this part, so it made the reading even quicker. But if you like the meddling godmother fairy tale aspect of it you could read those parts but it's easy to skip because it's like bolded and whatever else but anyway thank you so much for watching this video links to these three books are in the description box like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos and you can follow me on instagram at random olive